Hi, I've just got a, a little video review of the Bandai Composite Verka Feiyen um, HD version apparently. It's a strange crossover between uh, the Sega's Hatsune Miku Vocaloid character and um, Feiyen from the Virtuaron uh, arcade game that Sega used to produce, which you know I'm a bit of a fan of. Um, Fei Yen was a little fast character that used to shoot out a emotional heart beam attack as a strongest attack. You can see the uh, effect there. And if you check out the photos on uh, the rest of my post, you'll see um, some better shots of that as well. It's, um, yeah, called the emotional heart in the instructions. And, you know, it's the kind of thing you sort of expect from some of these things sometimes, I think. Overall, it's not a bad little character. You've got lots of movement. Um, although the sculpting does get in the way, particularly the shoulders here, this little section here kind of stops her from lifting up her arms. And uh, her hands have just ball joints on them for plugging in so she can't move her wrists about. But she has good uh, movement on the legs. And you can sort of move her knees all the way up like that. The only downside though really that I've sort of come across is uh, the stand is specifically designed for her emotional heart blast sort of maneuver ah, which is this picture up here so you can set it up to look just like that using the stand but trying to use the stand for anything else like making a stand or uh, making her look like she's in a concert being a uh, Japanese idol character is uh, pretty hard and um, that's as high as I can get the stand to go so there's no jumping and with these bits here you have to have quite a long peg to go into the hole and this peg just isn't long enough so if you do get it in there it's just sitting in just a little bit so if we try a little something and get a lift up one leg yay he gets out of the way fiddle around with the arm yeah, that's all right. You can't twist her at the elbows very much, so all the all the arm rotation comes from the shoulder itself. So we do something like this. I was where, like, say with the figme, you'd expect the stand to take the majority of the weight. This one, you kind of have to go to some crazy balancing act. Oh, so you can sort of just do things like that. But as soon as you flick it around, if it just falls off the peg. This peg spins around. And that's how you get her into a leaning back mode with this one. You kind of plug it in like that. So yeah, overall not a bad little figure. Um, pretty good movement on it, aside from the limitations of the sculpting, like in the shoulders specifically. But you can get some good movement from the chest like so. Uh, hair's pretty heavy, of course, as uh, you probably expect with anything. If you've bought any Hatsune Miku figures before, the hair's always very heavy. Uh, one thing that bothered me at the very start was one of her feet is moulded slightly different and I think it's to do with this style pose here. So you can kind of... Uh, I have a better picture of it if you go and check out the photos. I think it's this foot here and it's kind of angled. Instead of being straight, it's like on a kind of little cute little... My legs are a little bit wonky angle and uh, that limits your options a bit I think when trying to make up stand up properly although overall the balance is fairly good and you can sort of get away with making the stand around without ah, ta-da! I haven't used a stand and the good news is she's about figma sized as well so you've been drinking a bit too much of their index Ooh. There we go. So you could probably pop her on your shelf with your other figmas. Uh, that pretty much concludes it. There's some extra accessories and stuff which I'm not going to cover in the video because I've taken pictures. But um, generally it's quite a nice little figure I think and I think if you could find it for cheap I wouldn't probably pay more than retail for it. I think it's worth the effort especially for a Hatsune Miku fan or you like your bizarre crossovers like uh, the Disney label Convoy, for example. That was a bit of a strange one as well, if you ask me. But, hmm, good details, nice 
model sculpt thing, although inhibited by, although that inhibits the joints. But um, in the end, kind of not too shabby. Good if you can find it cheap. Oh, and she also comes with some uh, laser neggy as well. Leaks. Or oh, actually, I believe they're jade. Jade neggies, which you can't see in this box, but I do have a shot and I, I think I've I've called them uh, neon neg uh, neon leaks in the uh, in the review. So check out my review at Tet's Toys on Blogspot, and you can see some more of the wonderful composite ver car Hatsune However, in the pictures, I notice it comes up very blue. Um, I've had one edited for the proper colours, but for some reason, my camera won't pick up the blue. And this one doesn't seem to be doing a particularly good job of it either. It's actually more of a green colour, the old, very quiet kind of neon aqua colour. It's quite nice to look at in the toy, but um, for some reason, cameras really loathe it. So yes, feel free to drop onto my blog, uh, tetstoys.blogspot.com, and have a look at it. Thanks.